How to choose a solar panel. How do you know what brand of solar panel to buy? In Australia, there's probably hundreds of brands of solar panels, and you're not a solar panel expert. How do you know a good brand from a bad one? Well, I thought long and hard about this, and at the end of the day, the simplest answer to that is for me to simply put up all the brands that I trust, brands that I would have on my roof, so you can decide which one's for you. Here's the chart. On the left are the budget panels. Think of these as kind of the Hyundai of solar panel brands. On the right are the more premium ones. Think of these as the BMW of solar panel brands. All the panels on this chart, I would personally be happy to have on my roof. The ones on the left for the more budget conscious buyer, the ones on the right for the people who don't mind spending extra to get quality and performance. Now let's talk about this thing called a tier one solar panel. Tier one is an industry ranking scheme. It's used by the banks to decide if they're going to use a certain brand of solar panel in multi-million dollar solar farms. Now, tier one does not mean it's a high quality panel directly. It's based on the financial strength of the company. But it is, in my opinion, a proxy for quality. At the end of the day, if the bank's gonna spend millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions on one brand of solar panel for a solar farm, you can be fairly confident that they're gonna go with a good quality brand. So a tier one solar panel is not the be all and end all. And there are a couple of brands that are tier one that I personally wouldn't have on my roof, but it is a good proxy. It's a good starting point for quality. When you're looking at solar panels, the warranty is really important. Many solar panels are advertised with 25 or 30 year warranties. But what you may not realize is that there's two main warranties with a solar panel. And the really long one is probably not the one you should be looking at. Why? Because that's called a performance warranty. And in my experience, the solar panel manufacturers, even the good ones, try to wriggle out of this warranty. The one that's really hard to wriggle out of is the shorter one, and that's called the manufacturer's warranty or the product warranty. On a typical solar panel, the product warranty or manufacturer's warranty is about 10 years, whereas the performance warranty is about 25 years. Look for the longest manufacturer's warranty you can, because that's the easiest one to claim. Good solar panel brands are now going over 10 years. Some are going to 12, some are going all the way to 25. But when looking at solar panel warranties, be aware there's two, and it's the manufacturer's or the product warranty that's the really important one. Solar panel specifications. A solar panel will have dozens of specifications on its data sheet, and people can really get their knickers in a twist comparing the specifications. I'm here to say, don't really worry about it. If I had to choose three specifications to worry about, there'd be, is it monocrystalline or multicrystalline? That's the type of silicon that's used. Let's start with that one. Monocrystalline is a little bit more efficient. So a lot of people think, oh, I must get a monocrystalline panel. Whether you get a monocrystalline panel or a multicrystalline panel on your roof in Australia, they're gonna have similar performance. So don't worry about it. Just get a good brand that's well warranted. Don't worry if it's multi or mono. Don't let the salesman talk you into getting one or the other. The second specification that you will be looking at is efficiency. Now this is an interesting one because intuitively you'd think a more efficient panel would give you more energy, right? But that's not the case. A less efficient panel is simply bigger for the same amount of energy that's being produced. So if you've got a small roof, or if you're worried about getting the maximum amount of energy from your roof, which can make sense if you're thinking of getting batteries or electric cars in the future, then by all means go for a higher efficiency solar panel. But generally, the higher efficiency ones are more expensive. If you're not worried about fitting all the solar on your roof, if you've got a big roof, if you can easily fit the system size you want and you're not worried about fitting more in the future, the lower efficiency solar panels are fine. They're just a little bit bigger and they are a fair bit cheaper. So don't worry too much about efficiency. The third solar panel specification is what we call a temperature coefficient. Now this is important because like I said, it's bloody hot in Australia, right? Now the better the temperature coefficient, the less efficiency the panel uses as it gets hot. That's right, the hotter a solar panel gets, the lower the efficiency becomes. So you can dig into the uh, 
this temperature coefficient if you want, and I've got an article that goes into it in depth on my website. But generally, the brands on the chart that I've just showed you have a good temperature coefficient. But if you do want to compare one specification in Australia, that's the one to look out for. Another good use of that specification is when the salesman goes, oh mate, my solar panel is designed for Australian conditions. It works better than any other one. Well, ask him to show you the temperature coefficient, compare that with the other ones, and you'll probably see that it's not that different. So he's probably gilding the lily. So those are the three specifications that if you do want to worry about them, you should think about multi-crystalline versus monocrystalline, panel efficiency and temperature coefficient. That's it. At the end of the day, don't worry too much about getting the perfect solar panel. Think about whether you want a budget system or a quality system that you're happy to pay more for. Err towards that end of the chart. Make sure that the solar panel brand is supported in Australia because the thing that's going to really wind you up is not getting 5% less energy in a year. It's going to be five, six, seven, ten 10 years down the line if something goes wrong with the panel, getting those panels replaced and getting good service. So don't worry too much about specs. Go for a good brand.